My family loves nachos, and so do I. And sometimes all it takes to turn any event into a party is a big pan of nachos. Today I'm going to show you how I make my family's favorite nachos, a really easy ground beef nacho recipe. Comes together in a snap. I've just got three pounds of ground beef in this electric skillet. While my ground beef is browning, I'm gonna to put together our seasoning blend. I like to work in ratios, and for every one pound of ground beef, I am using one teaspoon of salt. I have three pounds here, so I'm measuring my ratio for three pounds of ground beef. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of chili powder. and one teaspoon of onion powder. Ooh. Lastly, half teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm just gonna use one and a half teaspoons of black pepper for that. And this is how we season our ground beef. This makes it easy to remember when you are in the middle of your very busy day. If you would like a faster, easier way to do this, check out the card above me on how to bulk prepare seasoned ground beef and then freeze it in gallon sized freezer bags. You can also look in the description of this video and you can look down uh, in the comments. But this is so easy to put together. I've got my oven heating at 400 degrees turn this back on. It makes so much noise. I keep turning it down so I can talk. <laughs> you can scale this recipe up or down as much as you need to. And before we go on, if you wouldn't mind, I'd really, really love it if you would subscribe to this channel. My goal is to become monetized in a year. So I am really making a lot of videos right now. Once your ground beef is brown. Put a whole bag of chips on your baking sheet and then just spoon your ground beef over your tortilla chips. This is such a fun dinner. It seems like every time I make this, it just feels like a party. And sometimes, especially on Thursday nights, when uh, my family's exhausted, if we're especially in the middle of the school year, and we just kind of need a bit of a relief to the daily grind. I make a big pan of these party nachos and we all just unwind a little bit. We watch something on TV, we laugh, and um, it helps. Also, I like to make these sometimes on a Sunday. If I don't feel like making like a Sunday dinner and um, <laughs> I like to watch um, Star Trek. Um, I like to watch Star Trek and eat nachos and force my family to watch Star Trek too. <laughs> and that's really kind of nice. It's cozy. So anyway, I got all my ground beef on my um, my tortilla chips, and now I just put a bunch of cheddar cheese. You can use a Colby Jack blend, or you can. Um, use like a Mexican blend, but I just like a regular cheddar. And just really put it on there good. What does that, what does that meme say? You have to, what does that meme say? You have to measure cheese with your heart or something like that. Cheese, chocolate chips, and garlic. You have to measure that with your heart. Okay. Now, into a 400 degree oven, and that really long enough to melt that cheese, and that's how fast and easy this is. And while this is in the oven, I'm going to get our toppings ready. My nachos are almost done with uh, the, really the cheese melting step. They're almost ready to come out of the oven. And I am busy getting some toppings ready. I like to create kind of like a nacho bar where I have all kinds of toppings and we can just go through and serve ourselves and put as many toppings on our nachos as we want. I like a nice iceberg lettuce. 
I also slice up a ripe avocado. Sometimes I get a prepackaged guacamole if I don't have time for avocado or I can't find one that is perfectly ripe. I'm going to put a little lemon juice on this so it won't oxidize. And I also have sour cream and picante sauce. I suppose a sliced black olive would be nice too, but my family's not really a big fan of the canned black olives. Oh, oh I almost forgot. I also have some cilantro. All right, now these are gorgeous and bubbly right out of the oven. They smell amazing. I'm gonna show you how we serve these up in my family. We just go through with a big old spatula or flat spoon. We serve up individually. I make a nacho bar. And then we can decide what we want on our nachos. I'm gonna put some lettuce on the side. I'm gonna put a bunch of salsa over this, some cilantro, big old thing of sour cream, and of course, avocado. My kids love this because they get to decide what they put on their own nachos. These are so easy and so good. And as you can see, they're it's just full of colors and beautiful variety on this plate. Give it a try. You can find this recipe and many more on my website, theflyingkitchen.com. If you'd like more recipes, you can join my Patreon group. For $1 a month, I post one recipe every weekday. If you'd like a bunch of recipes delivered to your inbox every Friday, subscribe to my free newsletter. Also, subscribe to my podcast for fast, fresh dinner ideas. You can subscribe on Apple Podcasts or find it on my YouTube channel. If you could subscribe to this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for being here. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.